Now, whenever new cameras are introduced, one of, if not the thing that's talked about the most is noise. So in this video, I wanna show you a technique that'll help you to reduce it, if not completely remove noise from your pictures, no matter what camera you're using. Now, when I first started out as a photographer, my first camera was a Nikon D200. I loved that camera, but if I took photos with it anywhere near 800 ISO, the noise in the files was terrible. Nowadays though, things have moved on. I'm using a Sony a7R4, and I'll take pictures with that at 2500 ISO and higher sometimes, but there is a limit, as there is in every camera. When it comes to reducing noise, we of course have the noise reduction in software like Photoshop and Lightroom, and there's plugins such as Topaz Denoise. There may even be something on the horizon coming from Adobe in the neural filters, which uses artificial intelligence. For this though, I want to show you something that I think is incredibly powerful and useful in Photoshop, Median. Now you can only use this technique on new pictures, so not ones that you've already taken, and you're gonna use it at times when you know that your camera is gonna produce a bit of noise, so when you're having to use high ISO. Now to show you it, I'm gonna take a picture of a dark corner of my office using my GoPro, which to be fair, gets noisy anything above 100 ISO. Now noise being what it is, it's completely random, so it'll be slightly different in every picture. And that's the reason this technique actually works. So I'll put the ISO at 400, and for this technique, we need to take more than one photograph. So I'll set the GoPro to burst mode, and for it to take maybe five, which is about the right amount. So now that we have all five photographs taken in Photoshop, let's just open those up by going to the File menu, choosing Open. Navigate into the folder, here's all five images that are just taken as JPEGs. I'll highlight them all, then click Open. And when I do that, you'll see that Photoshop brings them all in, as individual images and individual tabs across the top of the screen. Now for this technique to work, what I need to do is to actually have each of these images one on top of the other in the layer stack. So I guess what I could do is use my move tool, click down on an image, drag up to a tab at the top there, then bring my cursor in, hold the shift key down and then release. And you can see here in the layers panel, that's now been added perfectly on top of one of the other images and I could do that for all of the other remaining images. However, there is a much quicker way. All I need to do is come to the File menu, choose Scripts, Load Files into Stack. And in this dialog here, I could have brought in files or navigated to a folder if I didn't already have the images open, but obviously I do, which means I can use this little button here, Add Open Files. When I click on that, it brings all five images into this section. Underneath that, we have two checkboxes. One that's basically there to align all the images. We don't need to use that one because the photographs were taken whilst the camera was on a tripod. Underneath, there is one about creating a smart object. Now, I'm not gonna tick that now, but once you've seen this, from then on, I would suggest that you would put a tick in it because it'll just speed up the process. But I wanna show you why you'll need a smart object in the first place. So I'm gonna leave it blank for now. I'll just click OK with all this set and very quickly you'll see that Photoshop has created a new document now with each of the images one on top of the other in the layer stack. Now that we have that, we don't actually need to have all of the images individually open. So I'll just close those down by clicking on the X in the top of the screen there. Now for the technique, what I need to do is create a smart object of all these images. So with the uppermost layer highlighted, I'm gonna hold down the Shift key and then click on the very bottom layer so they're all highlighted. To convert this to a smart object, I've got a number of ways I can do that. I can either come to the fly out menu in the top right hand corner of the layer stack and choose convert to smart object. I can put my cursor over these images here, right click and choose convert to smart object. Or I can go to the layer menu, smart objects, convert to smart object. When I do that, Photoshop very quickly creates a smart object, which we can see now. Now that's pretty much the technique done all apart from one final step. And for that, all I need to do is go back to this layer menu, smart objects, come down to where it says stack mode, and then choose median. 
Photoshop then processes it and very quickly you'll see that the noise has been reduced or even eliminated. Let me just zoom in to show you. Look at this area here on the wall. If we go before and after, before and after. Now I'm just demonstrating this with the GoPro because I know that it's going to create a noisy file. But let's now run outside. I'll take my main camera, go somewhere I, where I need to boost up that ISO, which is going to produce a file that's a little bit grainy, then bring it back and then we'll try the same technique. So I've just walked over the road to the village church and I've found this little corner to take the pictures. I've dialed in settings so that I need to really boost up that ISO and I've actually ended up pushing it to 8000. I've plugged in a cable release so as not to touch the camera and cause movement and then I've just taken five quick photographs. Okay, so now that we have those five photographs in Photoshop, let's just open them up by going to the File menu and choosing Open. Here they all are. You can see that they're raw images, so if I highlight them all, then click Open, it'll open all of them in Camera Raw. And if I just zoom in on this one image here, you can see that this was obviously taken at 8000 ISO, and you can see that although not as much noise as the GoPro, it is still the noisy image. Usable, but still quite noisy. So let's see if we can reduce this then using that median technique. I'll highlight all of the images at the bottom by holding down the Command key on Mac or Control key on Windows and pressing A. All of the thumbnails are highlighted, so I can just then click on Open to send them all over into Photoshop. Now, just as before, it opens them all up as individual images, and we can see that by the individual tabs at the top of the screen. We now need to create that document with them all one on top of the other in the layer stack. So we'll go to the File menu, choose Scripts, load files into stack. Here is where we click on the add open files option there to bring them into this area. We're not gonna auto align them because they were all taken on a tripod, but I am gonna save myself some time by now putting a tick in the checkbox so that it automatically then creates a smart object once it's got them on top of each other in the layer stack. We'll click okay, and a few moments later, Photoshop has done that and we can see now we have that smart object. The final step is just to go back to the layer menu, smart objects, stack mode, and median. Give that a moment to process it. So now it's done it, let's just zoom in. So this is before, and this is after. Before and after. It's done a fantastic job reducing the noise, making that file even more usable. Now the reason this works is because median looks at all of the images for pixels that remain consistently the same across them. And because noise changes from image to image, it doesn't include it in the final result. Now obviously this isn't a technique that you can use all the time, but for those times when you are photographing something that allows you to take more than one picture, it works an absolute treat. But hey, that's all I've got for you this time. If you've liked it, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, click on that subscribe button because as you know, that's just a great free way that you can support this channel. But for now, that's me, I'm done. I'll see you in the next video.